This is a male tree cricket, strong enough to make a louder call to attract the females. Some of them are not that much skilled, or maybe more skilled in a different way. They cleverly craft a leaf to amplify the sound, almost doubling their chance to win a female. Let's see how they do it. In the most species of crickets, males have an evolutionary pressure to make intense mating calls, which force them to use innovative ways for making them louder. The species we are talking about here is known as Oikanthus henrei. Length is about 12 mm. It is commonly found in forested areas of Sri Lanka and India. Usually, the cricket male produces the loudest possible call depending on its physical abilities. They have leathery forewings, equipped with a stridulatory apparatus. One wing has a sclerotized spectrum and the other wing has a row of small teeth, like a file. These teeth are engaged by the spectrum in such a way that when the four wings rub on each other, both the wings vibrate in back and front direction. This action produces a chirping sound from the membranous surface of the wings. Here a male cricket faces one typical scientific problem. The vibrating wing compresses the air molecules at one side and relaxes them on the other side. Due to the natural tendencies of air, the pressurized air molecules rush to the relaxed molecules area. This creates a disturbance to the sound amplitude, which results in a loss of acoustic output. So the sound is effectively heard only in this dipole sound field, and the area which extends from the edges will have distorted amplitude. It's a big loss of efforts in this fierce competition. To minimize this, something has to be placed here at the edges of the wings. Some males find a place where they can keep one of their wings in continuum with the leaf, increasing the area of that wing, which results in a partial baffle to the destructive interference of the air at that part. They even find more opportune places like this, where the interference minimizes dramatically. Some of them go even further and find two leaves and sets in between by clasp them with its legs. The extended wing area creates efficient baffle and some of the most patient males goes beyond all this. They take some time to analyze leaves and find a relatively large one, decides the most suitable place on the leaf and starts chewing to make a hole. These males are also observed chirping along with making the hole to keep the work on the right track. Usually the hole is created in a balloon ship in which it can set itself by keeping the wings clung on the leaf. The area of wings extends with the leaf area, most effectively minimizing the disturbing air interference. This setting works as a megaphone. As the sound field expands, the amplitude increases almost two to three times and sound is heard more clearly and in a larger area, in return increasing the chance to win a female partner. One more interesting thing. Tree crickets have hearing organs on each foreleg, which is made of a sound-sensing membrane. For the females, they are so sensitive to keep the right track of a shortlisted male in such a noisy area of mixed-up calls. Oikanthus henry was identified as a species in 1936, and the unusual behavior of baffle making was discovered in around 2005. The point is, even the simplest looking organisms can have fascinating characteristics. And there may be many creatures whose secrets are yet to be uncovered. Thanks for watching, and we will meet again soon.